Hey everybody, Aaron here, and welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at episode 4 of 18IF. Now, I don't want to say this was a horrible episode. Um, it, it had some real life, I, I think, real life meanings behind it. And in that sense, it was one of those shows that, you know, one of those episodes you can get like, oh, okay, you know, I, I get the drama that she's going through. Like, I mean, the last couple we've had have been really kind of mixed with the realism you know it's something that you, you you've heard you could hear of possibly but at the same time it's outlandish at the same time and what's interesting though is that this week's episode obviously focused on this young girl who was a um anorexic woman she was someone who loved her her uh, grandma's home cooking she loved eating she she really wanted to have everything in sight but at the same time obviously she wanted to keep her nice slender figure and you know, obviously, as you can tell with myself, too, it's kind of hard to keep a slender figure if you want to eat, you know, food that's good, obviously. So, for a lot of people, they turn to anorexia, and that's a real-life disorder where people, you know, if you don't know, keep puking the food out that they eat. And that's one thing that this girl was doing. She would kind of get herself sick. And here's the thing, yeah, people think, oh, okay, yeah, you lose the weight like that by doing that. But really what it does is it keeps also all the nutritions and things that you need in your body out there so you lose them in the process and it kind of it can get you very very sick and people get addicted to you know always throwing up their food if they like eat a huge meal they gorge themselves like it's a thanksgiving feast and then they start throwing up and that doesn't do anything that's actually what it, first off for a lot of people it actually doesn't help you lose weight it actually can help you gain more weight but even more so is that you know in this girl's case it's getting her sick and it's getting her into this this kind of almost paranoid thing where she doesn't know if food tastes good to her anymore, if she just wants to eat it because, you know, it's memory-wise, or if it's just because she just wants to, you know, gorge herself later on to throw it all up anyways. So, you know, that concept of the episode was pretty cool. I mean, I, I think it was a strong story in that sense. However, at the same token, it was one of those really kind of generic tales because of the kind of, I want to say premise that they had and it sounds kind of almost like you're contradicting yourself when you say that like oh you know you're saying it's a it's a good premise but it didn't come out good yeah because it, it the way it's told was kind of boring i mean i get the whole fantasy element obviously of 18f being that when this girl went to sleep she went into this dream world where she t turned everything into food but there really wasn't no threat today like you know in the last couple episodes when one of these magical girls or excuse me one of these like you know witches in this dream world attacked our main character essentially was either a committing crimes with them or b having to save people from them in this case nothing nothing really happened per se besides her like kind of almost wrecking his life a little bit and that's probably because of his own doings because he was so like i want to say it enveloped in her story because he wanted to stop her from becoming a witch so it's almost that same case of like they're trying to stop her from coming that way before too late you know it's like I, I, like i said i don't know maybe it's just me but I, I really didn't think this episode was that great because of that it, it's like yeah you got a great premise behind it but i think you could have executed a lot better maybe that's the best way i could put it you know it, the premise is great the execution falters but anyways guys and girls i would love to know your comments down below tell me what did you think of this week's episode of 18f as always i have other reviews obviously coming out today um i don't know where i don't know uh, what else comes out today i think may i think main of the abyss might come out today i'm not 100 percent sure about that i also have to review dive episode four because i forgot to do that yesterday unfortunately it was another show i, I forgot that came out on thursdays i don't know where it was thursday man when it comes to like shows that were coming out and I believe that's it after this. So, you know, we'll check. We'll see what happens. Uh, also, a kind of warning to you guys. Saturday might be a hard day for me to do reviews. I have a family over, so I might not be able to get reviews out on time. I will try my best, nonetheless, but don't really count on it, okay? Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great, blessed day if I don't see my next review. God bless you all. Bye-bye.